Ladies and gentlemen, this is a middleweight contest over 30 minutes. Six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my left and in the red corner, the body beautiful from Wolverhampton, John Mr. Muscles, England. Hit the ball and hit the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, from West Africa, King of the Headbox, Johnny Quindle. Your referee, Mr. Bobby Bear. Second away, round one. Hello again, Gravel fans. Good afternoon to you. And here at the Civic Hall in Bedworth, we welcome you once again to another professional wrestling session presented to you by Joint Promotions. A catchweight bout starts off the proceedings, and that is if Mr. John England on the right from Wolverhampton stops looking at himself in the mirror that he's got his second uh, carrying for him outside the ring <laughs> and gets on with the bout. Mind you, he has got a tremendous physique. There's no question about it. The only trouble is he knows it a little too much. Johnny England might have a great physique, but Johnny Quango, his opponent from Nigeria, from Lagos, Nigeria, a stone heavier in this afternoon's bout. Especially if he starts the headbutts. Can look after him all right. The folding press, and it could be dangerous for him, it is. Exactly one minute into round one of the sixth round contest, and Quango is leading already. Your master of ceremonies, Fred Downs. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, the first fall in favour, our coloured friend, Johnny Quango. Oh, they love this man. They love him anyway, but especially when he's, his opponent is Johnny England. Now he's laying on the great sense of humour that's followed Johnny Quango. Second round, round two. Johnny Quango with one of the greatest sense of humours in the wrestling business. And a lot of them have a good sense of humour. for the headbutts. When I first uh, interviewed Johnny Quango in the dressing room, <laughs> as I always do when a wrestler comes on television for the first time, I said to Johnny Quango, what's your hobby? 
and he said, going to the movies. He says, I always wear white gloves in the movies. I said, why? He said, so I can tell when I come to the end of my chalk ice. <laughs> Get him, One, two. One, two. One, two. Five to go. Johnny England of Wolverhampton. Twelve stone seven, giving away one stone to Johnny Quango. Johnny Quango. Johnny, shut up! Quango, who, believe it or not, used to wear a white bandage around his right knee when he had a very nasty accident once. And you can probably see the scar just above the right knee on the side if you ever if we get a close-up of him later. There it is. He used to wear a white bandage around that, and I asked him why the white bandage before I knew about that scar, and he said, so that you could distinguish me from my opponent, <laughs> which I thought was uh, great. A really lovely guy, this fellow, and the crowd seemed to know it here. Holding press quick, Johnny England. Chance to come back. One fall trailing already. One, two. England so busy looking at himself in the mirror and admiring his physique, which is a great physique, but uh, he's still trailing by one fall. Uh, mustn't stretch, mustn't separate the fingers and all thumb. smiling there. <laughs> England attacking again but very very near the ropes and he Quango, if he gets into trouble, could probably get a break very, very shortly. The more he gets hit in the back of the neck, the more he turns that torn ankle on. Just a minute left to go in round two. left in the second round of six. I wonder if we're going to start seeing some <coughs> some really good wrestling now. Both these men are capable of it. He might have a bloody hard head, but he ain't going to get it out of here. Side headlock. Twelve seconds. England, as he's known. Can he look this way? That's better. <laughs> now you can see the, the physique a bit better. But he, he has got an awful lot of trophies for that physical culture. Four rounds to go as we start the third. And still Johnny Quango from Nigeria, leading Johnny England Wolverhampton by one fall to nil. Much the delight of the packed crowd here at the Civic Hall Bedford. Bedworth, I beg your pardon. 
The third of Milton Bedford. Bedworth near Coventry. And they really like their wrestling here. Goes Guile, yes, he, he knows what it's all about. He's had a few years at it now. Quango, <laughs> whose mother was a lady wrestler, <laughs> and uh, himself, he used to be a ballet dancer, toured with the famous uh, Catherine Dunham dancers a few years back. <laughs> so he's pretty useful with his feet as well as his arms. most illegal uses of the ropes and Johnny England thinks that he's got a chance here with that quango left leg now having weakened it illegal gives that front row ringside cedar a public warning. But with a big grin on his face as he does. England, the only one not appreciating the humor here, gets out of the ring out of the apron. But he's soon helped in by Mr. Quanger, who gets reminded, <laughs> oh, I shouldn't do that if I were you, Johnny. Just showing him what he would was going to do, but uh, not to the ref, I'm sure. Well, despite all this uh, playing to the gallery, Johnny England, a very useful man in the wrestling ring indeed, as I hope he's going to show us in a minute. Only two minutes to go before the end of the first half Will of this bout. Will you bloody shut up? I'm trying to wrestle! There's quite a vocabulary. No, no. No. Come on, you bloody black! Inclined to be a little bit repetitive, maybe. Staying behind him as long as possible. Yes. Arm lever right against the joint over the shoulder and Quango high enough to make that pay, but Johnny England's on the bottom rope to alleviate the tension, pressure. And England still got it in his mind that he's weakened Quango's left leg, so go for it again. He has forgotten, of course, that he. He weakened it illegally on the bottom rope. One more, of course, after the bell, if he can get away with it. Quango ha is a bit worried by that left leg now. It did get a bashing on the bottom rope in the first round. And it is worrying him at the moment, I think. 
possibly a little more than he uh, indicates. Johnny Black Quango is his uh, ring name. Second way, round four. Second half of the bout as we start the fourth, and the water has spilled over the canvas, and that's not going to make things any easier at all. Slip all over the place now. Referee letting it go at the moment. And it's Quango's left leg, of course, that England's going for from now on. You'll try and get him in a single leg Boston to try and get the equalizer in this fourth round. He's been behind for two and a half rounds now. Still trailing by that one four in the first. And it's uh, England's trade out on the table. Just past the monitor this time. England worrying about the inside of his mouth. <laughs> and he's found the water puddle. <laughs> Quango has found the water puddle. <laughs> oh. England not laughing, but everybody else is, including the referee, including, of course, Johnny Quango. Oh, that's, that would, that would uh, tickle him. All right. <laughs> what a great opening bout this afternoon here at Bedworth. Everybody really warmed up instantaneously. But some more illegal use of that bottom rope. And referee Bobby Bear, the London referee. A very definite private warning, but no public one. Single leg Boston to England. And could be the equalizer here. He has on that weakened left leg. There's the equalizing submission. Just over a couple of minutes into round four. The equalizing submission with two rounds to go. Your MC Fred Downs to announce it officially. Ladies and gentlemen, in the fourth round, an equalizing submission to the muscle bound kid John England. One fall each now, one fall to Quango in round one. A submission fall equalizer in round four to John England, the muscles from Wolverhampton. Two rounds to go. Round five. And it's Johnny Quango is going to keep that left leg out, out of distance if he possibly can because England's going straight for it on a single leg Boston again. That's what got the submission just now. He's trying the same move. Quango's got his left arm under the, over the bottom rope there, so he gets the break. He can't reach him now. The ropes. goes far too early on that, the second time he's done it. Single leg Boston, now Quango. Now can he, if, can he get the winner with this? He's got it. Oh, he's tapping the shoulder, but knowing Johnny England's tricks, he may not be giving. No, he hasn't got it. Grab over the top, holding press, Quango and must be the winner this time. Just a minute, going in round five. Two falls to one submission, Johnny Quango the winner. Everybody happy except one, and there he is on the right. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee's decision, the winner two to one, our colored friend, Johnny Quango! And one for the loser, 